lava lamps. They're fun and decorative, but they also have a lot of science behind it. We'll be learning a bit about density in this video. For this experiment, you will need one cup of oil, one cup of water, Alka-Zetzer tablets, food colors, and a jar. Measure one cup of water into the jar. Add a few drops of food coloring to the water. As you can see, I added the food color. Now I'm going to mix it. Measure one cup of vegetable oil into the jar. Instead of vegetable oil, you can use baby oil as a substitute. Where does the oil settle? Since water is denser than oil, it sank to the bottom leaving the oil on top. Break up the Alka-Zetzer tablets into four. Then drop them in to the jar. <laughs> Whoa, that's so cool. <laughs> That's really cool. We made two different lava lamps with different food colors. Alka-Zetzer tablets are made of sodium bicarbonate, a base, and dry citric acid, which is an acid. When a tablet is placed in water, these two substances mix and react just like baking soda and vinegar. They produce carbon dioxide gas which is what you see bubbling up through the lava lamp. The bubbles take a little bit of water with them up through the oil layer. But because oil and water don't mix, the water droplets fall back down. This creates a delightful, bubbly dance between the water and oil. Whoa! Look at That's this! That's so cool! This is amazing! So pretty! Wow! Real lava lamps contain a light bulb at the bottom. The light bulb is a lava lamp's source of heat. The denser liquid sinks to the bottom, but the lava lamp light heats it up until it expands and becomes less dense, causing it to rise upward. These stick to the water droplets. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe!